hello hello welcome to a little card tutorial so today i will introduce you to something really special and this is a tool and you might wonder what the world is that um that we have new in the catalog and i will show you how this works and why you need it okay so let's get back to that in a second so this is the card i want to show you today and I don't know if you sometimes have um, really nice pictures that you go like, this is just too pretty to toss or to, you know, um, to not keep, but then you're just accumulating um, pictures. Or if you have photographs, sometimes we take photographs and I do a lot of um, flowers and, and landscaping and things, and I not always scrapbook them all. So what do you do with a perfect fine photo, but... You know what do you do with it well think about putting it on a card so this is a bigger card based like we normally use so this one is like five by six and a half and you need a little bit bigger one to make the photo work but just think about putting this matting it a couple of times putting this on uh, your card and then just add a little phrase to it or um like i did in this case cut it down a little bit and I will show you how this works so this is the card we do so this is the inside and I will show you how this works so I got my stuff here already um, a little bit prepared and let me do the sequence on the side here because we don't need them right now and let me take all these pieces up here okay so this stuff we don't really need okay now so what happens is um, I will blend in the picture um, as I took it before I cut it apart <laughs> and so you will see what the picture looked like at the beginning and it's a little bit offside I don't know where I got them from I think it's from hunky dory or something and they had these multiple um, different um, cute drawings and pictures in there in the that little booklet and I just thought okay what are you gonna do with it so um, what I've done is I cut my pictures down to one by one squares and there was a little bit left that I had to toss, but that's okay. And then you want to adhere them to your card base. So, or to a piece of cardstock. So my cardstock here measures, uh, let's see, um, seven eighths. So five and seven eighths by three and a half. And what I do is I am gonna space them out. So you just have to fudge around a little bit how depending on how big your picture is. What you want is like a little space between each of these squares and make sure that you have a nice and even frame around the, the whole um, sentiment. So what I am gonna do is I'm gonna carefully so I don't turn them around, flip them around because that's the hard part when you get a whole bunch of squares it's a puzzle to put them back together that happened to me before i was cutting away and then i'm like oh dang it i should have laid them out right away every time i cut one piece that way they were all together no so now i had to do the puzzle from the beginning and if this is the only picture you have make sure you take a picture of it so when you later assemble it you know where the pieces go what I do like to do is I like to take um, liquid adhesive because it gives me a little bit more room to maneuver. Let's see, that's the way it goes. And okay, I start in a corner and I make sure that I have a nice spacing there. I know that my corners, my uh, frame around is a little bit wider than the frame in between and then I'm just taking these two 
and I make sure that I lay these two out to make sure I got enough room so that looks good so next I'm gonna take this one the bottom one and put this one in position first and then I take my middle one and just make sure you don't turn it around well this one here I don't know depending on what you're using but in my case I have to make sure I I'm not flipping it around and then have one sitting in here a little bit off okay so this gets me started here and then I, I do the same with the bottom so I know I have a really thin spacing in here and it's just eyeballing I mean if you want to yes you can use um, a ruler or something but I'm not good at it I just eyeball it it's handmade it's supposed to be not perfect so we're good put this in here and then I just have to space these out a little bit more okay so this one could have been a little bit down but that's fine so next And that's how we put them on here and I will do this off camera here so you don't have to wait for me to get them all lined up you get the idea and I will see you back here in a second when I have them all in position and right one second Okay, back we are. Uh, it's not perfect, but oh well. You know, the spacing is a little bit off, but once they're down, they're down, and that's okay. And I did the leftover five on this blue strip, and yes, this is a little bit shorter than the top one, but I kind of like lined the one up here because this goes on the inside, so it's not really, will not show much at all, but that's okay. All right, now we're gonna take our card base and I'm gonna put this one on first and like I said you can use photos that you maybe have where you had extras um anything where I would say there's not people involved because you don't want to cut somebody's head off depending on where you cut them or so it just looks weird but if you have landscaping if you have flowers anything like this will work great with this type of design so just think about it okay now we have two pieces where we're gonna cut a little bin in here and if you remember how to cut a fin so you want to go determine the middle part go far as far up as you want the, the little flag to go and then you go from each corner to the tip and voila and we do the same thing with this one here so I want to go about this far up and then I go from one corner and this corner and we're good if you do it this way and you determine again it doesn't need to be perfect but um, if you determine the middle of your little strip you always have a nice even V which um, I know sometimes it's hard to get, but this works great, this little trick. If you use glitter paper, um, try to do it from the back side, because otherwise it is a little bit hideous to see through the glitter part. And then we just adhere those, and I have them overlap like half. And here we are then we have these little pieces so the best wishes just adhered in the center and this little swirl is from another set if you have trouble using swirls this is a great one it's called classic 
flourishes it's still available d20 66 and it's got all these different swirls and we use just a tiny little one part of one for this one okay and this will be raised so i just need a couple of foam dots And then we have these little guys. So these just, I just adhere them just a little bit on the bottom here. And then just eyeball them where they can go out here. And this one about here. And then we put our little tag over it. And the outside is almost ready. Now we are doing the inside. So since um, we don't have, or it, since it's black on the inside, we can't really write anything in there except you have a white pen or so. So I'm just putting a white piece of cardstock in there. And then we use the leftover of these squares and put them on the inside of the card. So I'm just gonna leave a little bit spacing around here. It needs to go over. Now it's in the center. And then we add this one. And you can butt it up too, or you can leave a little strip. And here we are. And the inside, I also did some with a black pen, just a couple of squiggles. Let me show you, where's my black pen? And it's just freehand. There's nothing really to it. You just you can do little swirls, hearts, whatever you want to do. Okay. So the inside is pretty much done. And now the outside. So here we are. And we have to place these little sequins. So if you have tiny little um, glue dots, they work fine. But if you don't, and you always have issues picking them up because after a while, you know, when you're working on things, you get sticky. This is when this super great tool comes in handy. So this is like a plastic rubbery type of core. And you just use a regular pencil sharpener to give yourself a little edge here, uh, a tip here. And what I did, because this is pretty long compared to a regular pencil, I just used my X-Acto knife and cut mine in half here. So I'm working with a smaller one. And the nice thing is you can pick anything up, these little sequins, easy to pick up. You can even pick little paper pieces up, which we can try in another one. Um, and to place them, what I do is I just put a little dot of adhesive on my, if it works, on my card front here, where I want to place these. Okay. And then I take my handy dandy tool here, pick them up. And just drop them right above and with my just the tips of my nails I just push them into the adhesive and it's so nice because normally they stick to my nails they stick to my fingers and it's just a pain so this really works great But 
you don't want to push it with the stick down because naturally the stick's going to pick it up. So don't do what I just did. All right. Now we just have to let them dry. But this is how easy you can get your sequins on your card without fuzzing or getting them stick to your fingers or everything else. Plus, so this is how the card looks from the inside. This is how the card looks from the outside. Here's another of these pictures that I had. Same thing, the inside and the outside. And I just like, so if you ever have like from a calendar or something where you have a nice background picture and you don't really want to toss it, uh, think about creating a little card with it. It's super easy. You don't need a lot of material. And I think it's just a nice effect. Um, we did this for Christmas cards. Like I have a nice picture of my church at home when the snow was flying uh, coming down. It was in, in the evening. It was dark. The lights were on everywhere. So it was really pretty. And you do the same thing. You just cut it down and you put it on your, on your card. You can even put it directly on the black card. But I always like it's nice when you have a board around so it looks like a window. I hope you enjoyed this little um, excursion. And if you're interested in these picker upper tools, let me quick show you. So there are, you can find them in our core catalog on page 91. And it's right here. And they come in a set of two. And like I said, they're super long. So I just cut mine down and um, use only half of them. Um, so they're really great to have. So have a look. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye bye.